Welcome to News Breakdown. As we begin the second decade in the 21st century, we are seeing massive leaps in how we as a human race are advancing and implementing technology in ways we have never seen before. With these advancements, we are seeing the technology starting to trickle down to the construction industry. The construction industry has been an industry that has stagnated for the lack of a better term. Other industries such as the automotive industry or the medical industry, for example, have seen massive leaps and bounds over the years. However, the construction industry has lagged behind until now. In this video we will be taking a look at a company called Project Etopia which is one of the rising stars in today's modern construction industry. So let's take a look at what Project Etopia is. To get a feel of what Project Etopia is let's take a look at a statement from their website which reads Project Utopia provides not only an all-in-one solution to house building at a faster rate than traditional construction with a smart technology integration, we are passionate about our planet and strive to come up with innovative ways we can work in conjunction with it rather than against it. Project Utopia was founded by Joseph Daniels back in 2015 at the age of 23 and is still the CEO of Project Utopia Group. His objective is to build smart connected eco cities of the future that help to solve the global housing crisis while not contributing to climate change. He aims to do this by combining various energy construction and intelligent technologies to build the highest performing buildings. His ambition was filled by the lack of housing security he faced as a young man. Since 2015, the company has continued to grow at a rapid pace. Recently, the world-renowned property tycoon brothers, the Rubin brothers, invested 19 million British pounds into the company back in 2019. So Project Utopia is taking strides towards the right direction in terms of actually achieving their goal of actually scaling up their operation. So let's talk about some of the technology that they use. The performance of the buildings that are produced by Project Utopia are using modern methods of construction known as MMC against sustainability and building standards. The UK based company has opened a new factory with the capacity to produce 2,000 panelised homes per year. It is projected with the rise in demand for modular homes and with the advancements in technology, Project Utopia will be able to scale up their operation to a much larger capacity. Through the advancements in artificial intelligence and virtual reality assisted design, as well as improved off-site manufacturing techniques, which include 3D printing, some sections of a build, Project Utopia can now offer developers, tenants and homeowners alike a level of quality assurance and construction speed previously not possible using traditional construction methods. Being able to use recycled materials to create the modular components of a house is one of the key advantages and the technology Project Utopia has over their traditional house building competitors. The construction industry in the UK is currently one of the main contributors to the UK's carbon footprint and the ability to produce sustainable buildings using the current technologies that we have mentioned at a cost which competes with conventional construction methods. This is something that Project Utopia has focused on by implementing the technologies that we have mentioned in this segment. So what does Project Utopia claim about the products that they do offer? Of course, as we may expect, Project Utopia presents some bold claims with their product and some of the claims are they claim that their product will have an energy rating of EPCA 105 over 100. An average house can be built in three days, which is absolutely phenomenal. They have proved that this is possible. We will be taking a look at this further a bit more in this video when we take a look at their current existing projects. Another claim from Project Utopia states a CO2 reduction of 167 metric tons over a 25 year period on a single household. Bearing in mind the median CO2 emissions of a UK household stand at 17 metric tons per year year. Adding to the previous claim as well, their homes produce more energy than they consume, a 39% reduction in CO2 emissions compared to the traditional 
construction methods. Each house will belong to a small grid, which will be referred to as a smart grid, which will store the energy that is equally distributed to the houses within the community. All homes will be embedded with this smart technology, which will aid the self-sufficiency model the company is vying for. They claim to be able to also provide 25% more room to breathe than equivalent new built homes, whatever that means. So let's take a look at some of the current projects that they are currently working on. Project Utopia has begun building a landmark demonstration home at the Building Research Establishment, also known as BRE, with the aim to being the first to meet the UK offsite construction standards. Project Utopia's house will be tested for its ability to withstand hurricanes, fires and floods. And this will be detrimental in terms of the company going forward and how their product can be implemented in areas or countries that do suffer from natural fires or forest fires like in Australia, hurricanes or countries that are prone to flooding. These tests as well will be thoroughly evaluated to prove it can match up to or surpass the equivalent building regulations as bricks and mortar homes. The first home in London's only modular commuter village, Utopia Corby, has been completed. The company offers a variety of different style homes on the new site and these homes will come with a different configuration for each particular home. So the names of these homes that the company is offering offering to prospective buyers are called the Pax, the Amir, the Nature, the Familia, the Amet and the Telas. These homes are very in price, however, they will come with a similar out-of-the-box configuration and you will generally have the option of a two or three storey building, depending on which variation you do select. The cheapest configuration from the prices published on their website is the Telus, which comes in at a whopping £340,000. However, in my own thinking and the way I look at things, you will recoup the cost of that particular house. However, other reports also suggest that in the near future, Project Utopia will also be able to offer homes starting at the price of £69,000, of course, in excluding the land that house will sit on, which will probably bring the overall cost to about £120,000 if you're talking British currency. They also have another project that they're undertaking within the UK titled the BRE Innovation Park Network. Project Utopia are constructing a terrace style house on the site, which they describe as a world first example of the future of homes combining energy. Another high profile project that they are currently working on is a school in the UK. The school will be built using modern construction methods which we have discussed previously including the modular design we also did mention. So let's take a look at how they are moving the construction industry forward. As the method of modular construction is getting more and more refined as the years go by, it is companies like Project Utopia who will be the leaders in the new age of construction. With the cries of the lack of affordable housing, the aim of Project Utopia is essentially to be able to produce high quality affordable housing. But the reality of this is that's not enough progress that's being made at the moment by the whole industry. It's not happening fast enough with conventional construction solutions. So what do the critics say about Project Utopia? Like with anything new that's introduced to a specific industry like Tesla, how they disrupted the automotive industry, a lot of critics came to the forefront to obviously voice their displeasure at what Tesla was doing. So in relation to Project Utopia themselves, uh, a lot of critics cry for the potential reduction of jobs. Of course, they deploy that modular style of creating houses, which means most of the jobs will be taken away from the site and will be moved into factories. And a lot of critics tend to say as well, once these jobs do move into factories, these jobs will end up being taken over by robots. So a lot of people do fear this in the future in terms of the traditional ways of building homes, the modular approach to critics will lead to a reduction in general construction site based jobs. Another point the critics tend to raise is in relation to that smart grid we spoke about in the previous segment that the community will be able to share a smart grid of energy produced from their homes. Some people believe that this will bring shaming within the community. When the energy is a shared resource in the community one household may be using more energy than the other which may lead to this household being singled out. Of course these people will certainly be able to pay their way for these energy bills but if it is a community that's built on being energy efficient, being green and good for the environment, then certain individuals 
may certainly stand out which may lead to public shaming some critics say new house buyers may be wary of this type of home and due to the historical but significant quality assurance failings are generally not inclined to purchase new build homes constructed using modern construction techniques such as the mmt that project utopia deployed so there is certainly still a bias in regards to the new technology in and amongst new home buyers but with growing popularity and in advancements of technology i do believe that these biases will slowly disappear furthermore the construction industry lending companies and government regulators have been slow to clear away outdated policies and practices in order to make way for the modular industry's growth However, on a personal note, I do believe that there are more positives to be taken away from a company like Project Utopia and the methods they use in construction, rather than the negative or the points raised by the critics. In conclusion, I would say that Project Utopia is poised to change how we live and how we construct those houses that we're living in the future. It is an extremely exciting time in terms of the advancing technologies that are being implemented. So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're watching the video and you're not subscribe to the channel please do make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you are listening to the audio version on whatever podcast platform you're listening to please make sure that you do also hit that subscribe button thank you once again for watching news breakdown